Well, the FBI says it will look into whether any federal laws were broken in a growing scandal surrounding New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. Some of his top aides are accused of creating a huge days-long traffic jam to punish a political rival. Christie says he's sorry, but maintains he knew nothing about it. He spoke with the mayor of Fort Lee on Thursday to apologize. This is the snarl up deliberately inflicted on commuters on the vital link between suburban Fort Lee and New York. It lasted four days, a painful, slow, crawling punishment for their mayor, who wouldn't back Governor Chris Christie's re-election campaign. It looks like there might be a tie-up on that inbound lower level of the bridge. Today, there was none of the usual brash, bluff confidence. It was a contrite Christie who sacked the woman responsible. I uh, come out here uh, to this office where I've been many times before, uh, and I come out here today to apologize to the people of New Jersey. Uh, I apologize to the people of Fort Lee, and I apologize to the members of the state legislature. Uh, I am embarrassed and humiliated by the conduct of some of the people on my team. There's no doubt in my mind that the conduct that they exhibited is completely unacceptable and showed a lack of respect for their appropriate role of government and for the people that we're trusted to serve. While in the Plaza Diner, just at the foot of the bridge, some of the regulars watched their governor explain and apologize for nearly two hours. He's a down-to-earth guy, and uh, he tells it like it is. Did you find him believable? No. Can you tell me why? Well, Governor Christie, he was a little bit too humble. I almost thought he was trying a little too hard. Jerry Leibowitz thinks Governor Christie lied today. I don't think he had any trouble doing it either. I mean, his whole political career is on the line here.